The diagram shows two people, A and B, carrying a pole with a bag of fish attached to it. The bag of fish has a mass of 48 kilograms. The pole has a negligible mass. Calculate the force on the pole from person A and person B. So person A is going to push up on the pole. I'm going to call that force FA. Person B is also going to push up on the pole. I'm going to call that force FB. The bag of fish is going to pull down on the pole with its weight. It's going to be 48, which is its mass, times 9.81 to get the weight. Okay, clearly it's a moments question. I'm going to have to take moments about probably A or B. Okay, I'm going to take moments about A. Okay, I could either equally have done it B, it doesn't matter. Okay, so taking moments about A, I can ignore the force at A because it won't have any turning effects. Applying the principle of moments, the clockwise moments. So the bag of fish is going to spin the pole clockwise about A and FB will spin it anti-clockwise. So clockwise moments will be 48 times 9.81, which is the weight of the fish, times the distance to that point, which is 0 0.5. That's the distance from A. That gives us 235.44 newton meters. The anti-clockwise moment, that's going to be from person uh, FB. So FB times the distance to that point, which is 1.5. So if I make them equal, and then divide both sides by 1.5, I get FB is equal to 157 newtons. Now I could take moments about B and solve for FA if I wanted to, and that would work. However, it's just easier to apply the transitional equilibrium condition, which is that the result of force must be equal to zero. So FA and FB, which is upward forces, if you add them together, so FA plus FB, it must equal the downward forces, which is from the bag of fish, Okay, so solving this, I get Fa is equal to 314 newtons. Okay, the diagram shows a 2 meter uniform bar with a weight of 100 newtons. So that means the bar itself has a weight of 100 newtons right in the middle. So it's 1 meter from either side because it's a 2 meter bar. Okay, it's suspended horizontally and there's two strings pulling on it, A and B. So they're going to pull up with tension A and then we'll call that tension B. Okay, and there's a 20 kilogram mass hanging at 0 0.5 meters from uh, the string uh, A. So I'm going to add times that by 9.81 to get the weight. Okay, and to calculate this tension in string A and string B. Now, in the previous question, I took moments about A, but just for a change, I'm going to take moments about B in this case. But it doesn't matter where you take moments about, it, it still works either way. Okay, so sum of clockwise moments will equal some anti-clockwise moment. So what is the clockwise moment? If I take moments about B, I can ignore the force at B. Okay, and let's see what's going to happen. This is going to spin it anti-clockwise. This one's also pulling down on it, so that's going to spin it anti-clockwise. It's this that's going to spin it clockwise. So I'm going to say tension A times the distance from B to A, which is 2 meters. Okay, some anti-clockwise moments. Those are two weights here, so it's going to be 100 times 1 plus the 20 times 9.81. And the distance from B to that is going to be, well, this distance here is going to be 2 minus 1.5. So it's going to be, uh, sorry, 2 minus 0 0.5, which is 1.5 meters. So that's 1.5. And the total of that is 394.3 newton meters. Okay, so if I make these two equal, so I get 2 TA is equal to 394.3 newton meters. Um, so I divide that by 2, I get TA is equal to 197 newtons. Now I could take moments about A now and figure out B, but instead I'm just going to use the resultant force equal to 0. So all the upward forces will equal the sum of the downward force as well. So I'm going to say TA plus TB. So TA is 197 plus TB, which we don't know yet, will equal the downward forces, which is 20 times 9.81 plus 100. And if I solve this by subtracting 197, 
I will get Tb is equal to 99 newtons.